In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a board design template, which will contain a board outline, the drawing format, cross-section, basic design rules, restricted areas, and mounting holes. Step 1. Create the board outline as a mechanical symbol. Within the menu, go to File and select New. Define the drawing name as outline and drawing type as mechanical symbol. Step 2. Within the Create a New Design GUI that pops up, quickly define user units, sheet size, accuracy, and extents. And if you need to add more details and set up grids, go to the Setup menu and select Design Parameters. Click on the Design tab and define extents. Then switch to the Display tab to turn on grids. Then in the non-etch section, spacing values should be set to 2.54. Step 3. Define the board outline by selecting the Shape Add command. You can select the endpoints by a left click or by typing the coordinates in within the command window. Let's start with the first coordinate, as x space 0 space 0. Type in the rest of the coordinates using the x, ix, or iy commands. Step 4. Let's add the mounting holes. You can either select the Add Pin icon from the toolbar, or go to Layout in the menu and select Pins. Within the Options pane, click on the Ellipsis button in the Pad Stack field and browse for Hole 120. Step 5. Let's chamfer the corners. Select Shape Edit Application Mode from the status bar. Within the Options pane, select Round and set your values depending upon the corner size you need or specified by your design dimensions. Go to the Dimension menu and select Dimension Environment. Then right-click on the canvas and select Parameters from the Options. Define the line suppression, offset distance, and beyond dimension line. Right click on the canvas again and select linear dimension. Then within the options pane, make sure you have your class set to board geometry and the subclass as dimension. Step 6. Define keep in and keep out areas on the board. For this, you will need to copy the shape of the board outline into other classes and subclasses. Go to Edit in the menu and select the zcopy shape command. Define the package keep in areas and route keep in areas with the contract option enabled. Step 7. Define route keep out areas. Go to Setup and select Route Keep Out in Areas, then draw a rectangle around the mounting holes. Now save this as a mechanical drawing file so that we can use it to create a board design template. Step 8. Go to File in the menu and select New. This time, name the drawing as MSATA and select the drawing type as Board. Step 9. Place the board outline that was created in the earlier steps. Go to Place within the menu and select Components manually. Click on Advanced Settings and select both Database and the Library option, as well as Auto Hide. Click on the Placement list and choose Mechanical Symbols from the drop-down list. Select the outline symbol that appears in the list. Then choose Hide, then place it at the origin. Step 10. Format your symbols. Select Format Symbols from the placement list then check the box next to B size. The symbol will be attached to the cursor, so place it in a way where you have more free space on the right side of your board outline to add assembly notes later on. Step 11. Define your cross-section. Go to Setup in the menu and select Cross-section. The top and bottom layers are pre-populated. Right-click on the bottom layer and select Add Layer. Then within the Add Layer GUI, 
Enter the count of layers as 6, select conductor for your layer type, and copper for your layer material. Now you're done defining the number of layers. You can rename these layers as required by your design, as well as edit the materials too. Step 13. The last step would be to save your board design template. Simply go to File and save it from the toolbar. It's quick and easy to reuse board design templates when designing standard technologies.